Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Welcome, Darcy. Welcome, James. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> we're going to... Today's Atari 2600 day. And we're going to be playing an Atari 2600 game, a brand new one, uh, by VHZC, another amazing platform game called Game of the Bear. Oh. Which I'm sure is a play on game of the year but bear is pronounced differently than year it kind of works it kind of works game of the bear well it's spelled the same except for the first letter yeah but pronounced completely differently um and we're in game be... of the beer the beer yes <laughs> and you can change the main character from a bear to a bouncing jumping beer no nuts for you cat <laughs> apparently that is Sadly, very true. It's true in many ways. <laughs> no cat babies. Uh, and we're, in After Dark, we're going to be playing Enduro. Hopefully getting the patch this time and not quitting out of frustration. Oh. Yes. A game of the Don't beer, mean, Tapper 2. There you go. Don't you mean out of rage? Rage and frustration. <laughs> A little bit of both. Um, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers scrolling smoothly beside Darcy. 8 bit Swami Allen of Her Arms Guard, Coda Atari Age, BR Polka, Bug, Owens, Caffeman 2D, Canadian Tenor, Charles in Check, Charles Whelan, Chive 5, Coconut, Dionoid, Dan, WC, Drexel, Ding, uh, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Jedekiah, Johnny WC, Carl G, Mark Space, Ink, Metal Atari, Mc, Metal Lunar, McMuse, Mike Saul, Mike Latell, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Pack Rat, Kohog, RC70, Rendered Ghosts, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, or S. Ramirez, The Welshman, Tiki Dan, K Trek, MD, X, Ken X, you want to be on that list? Or you're missing from that list? Is you do want to be on that list. It's, it's so cool. It's really cool. He's on it's it. It's essentially the list of Tanya's who's on it. Cool. Yeah. It's the who's who in the cool yeah. world. Yeah. And it's free if you have a uh, seat. Just like Repentless VG did. Super cool. Super cool. Super cool. On the list. Especially at 26 months he's been subscribing for. That's awesome. Anyway, it's free if you have Twitch. Uh, no. It's free if you have Amazon, <laughs> which owns Twitch. So that's why that works out. Um, or you can just subscribe if you don't have Amazon. And it's not free. Um, or you can follow us, and it'll tell you when we're broadcasting. Like right now, at noon Pacific Time, Friday. With Darcy. Which already keeps looking at me. Expectantly. Like right in my, <laughs> beaming into my eyeballs. Look at him. Oh my god. Yeah. He's like, are you the sucker? Right, well, are you the sucker? Yum, will you... Yum, yum, oh, yum, oh, yum. yeah. <laughs> He's very excited. <laughs> what are they looking at there? I don't but know. it is treat time. And treat time is brought to you by RC70. Who, Woo! who gave the cat some treats? Or who will? You have to ding it. That like that. <laughs> Good kitty. Oh, we have to switch over to the cat cam. So you guys can see all the action. Oh, 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 oh that's many, many dings. <laughs> Pixel, if you don't eat that, Atari will. Eat it. What are you doing? You're hesitating. Will Atari find it or will he ring the bell? He's <laughs> ringing the bell. There's another one. It's under you. It's by the cord. Um... <laughs> So we have a bunch of mail today to open, which we'll get to after a couple more treats. Oh, Atari found it. <laughs> he ate it up. Okay, one more, guys. Or two more. One more. Ring the bell. Good kitty. <laughs> Pixel, you're like, no interest anymore? He's wandering off like, nah. I'll get fed anyway. <laughs> that pretty much is his attitude. One more. One more. Quick. Ring it. One more. Oh, better. There you go. That's a nice, strong one. Get it! Now, greasy, gross cat treat hands. Disgusting. But that's okay. I'll be handling cardboard in a second. So let's just uh, lick them clean, like. Um... You can hold your nuts. No, I'm not going to lick them clean. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got some uh, mail here. And I'll switch the cameras so you can see the mail. Uh, I know what both of them are, um, which isn't, but you guys don't. That's what makes it exciting. 
there is another one on the way. Uh, this is like part one of two. Um, it said it was out for delivery today, and usually um, it gets delivered at 11 a.m. Let's see if it's uh, in the mailbox. No, still out for delivery. So this is oh, it's got some it's got some treats in it. A fireball, atomic fireball. That's what I ordered. Uh, no. Uh, this is from uh, Console Five, which um, sends which uh, you can order parts for Atari stuff. Oh, crossbow already called it. Guess he knows the look of the box. Um, I got two more uh, DB9 joystick extenders. Ah. Because uh, you can never have enough of those. Well, that's not necessarily yeah. true. Yeah, you could have way too many. So, console 5. Yep. Uh, You're unlikely to have too many of them. Though. Unlikely. I bought some more RCA to RF adapters. I have mm. enough, but they're all kind of plugged into things, so mm -hmm. it's good to have spares. And that's good for plugging in RF uh, consoles into your modern TV. And what I got in this package is a power uh, adapter. So you can change out the power supply on an Atari 5200. Because the power supply they come with is this big chunkiness. And especially on the 4 port, it powers through the rf yeah i was gonna say is it that one it's that yeah. one and that's why i'm changing it out the, the bad bad idea the one. bad zappy zap one <laughs> that literally makes a spark like literally when you plug it in go zap um so this changes it out and adapts it the idea is fine <laughs> the idea is fine it saves cables it's a great idea less cables less mess more zapping um, and so you can plug it in using a regular little plug with a barrel connector. So, um, I will be, uh, modding my 5200 upcoming so we can play some 5200 games. What else? Oh, a capacitor to swap out the capacitor. Uh, and this is part one of two packages. The other package is coming today at some point, and it is the, uh, UAV board from the Brewing Academy, which upgrades the video output from RF to... Is it the Brewing Academy? The Brewing Academy, yes. They uh, they have things a-brewing, ah. like upgrading video output to S-video and composites, not components. Um, but it should be good enough. Yeah, that definitely, uh, now it totally makes sense. Yeah, for home brewing. Uh, oh, that kit comes with a diode for <laughs> polarity protection. Excellent. So I will be following Crossbow's video tutorial and his written tutorial because that's what the Brewing Academy supplies, actually, is Crossbow's tutorial on how to install it. And speaking of Crossbow, let's see what's in this box. What could it be from Crossbow? We don't it's have fish. It. It's I'm fish. I'm pretty sure it's fish. Rotten fish. Should have opened it days ago and put it in the fridge because we don't want rotten fish. Well, the cats. The cats were all over this. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why Crossbow um, sent me rotten fish. Well, it probably wasn't rotten when you put them in there. Yeah. That is from the ITC. Ivory Tower Collection. Not from him. That is correct. It does say Ivory Tower Collection. Uh, a good afternoon, Jedekiah. Thank you for joining us. And we'll read out the names in a, after I do this, because I, I forgot last time to read out the names mm. at the top of the show. I did it at the uh, end of the show. Oh, my God. Well, these are the things I sent him, so I can't be complaining too much that the packing peanuts arrived back to me. He's probably like, I don't, I don't want these packing peanuts. You got, a, you got two more attached because you kept dipping it back <laughs> into the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and they're being uh, held by static. Go on. So. So we don't need to show pieces of paper with info on it. We just need to get to the good stuff. So the good stuff. Yeah, people really do put packing peanuts into boxes in order to get rid of them. <laughs> yes, because they're terrible. 
They're terrible. Effective, but terrible. Oh my God, more. Should have added glitter to the peanuts. Eh. Eh, don't give them ideas. <laughs> so this is uh, very well packed. Thank you, Jesse. Looks intact, no rattly bits. So this is something I sent to him um, a couple weeks ago. Now he sent it back to me with uh, new parts, possibly less parts here and more parts there. Uh, You're saying you sent it to him, he took the parts out, <laughs> put other parts sent it in. back? Yeah, he just took parts out. Where is it? There it is. So, um, Crossbow, oh, Ivory Tower Collections um, is does a lot of classic console upgrades um, in terms of video and power. So it was only natural that I sent it to him. Uh, he has excellent videos online to help you upgrade your own, if you have the expertise, of which I do not. Okay, this is just gonna get a little destroyed. Let's try and open it. I wasn't cooperating. There we go. Just threw random stuff into the yeah. Just random stuff. He's just opened up the case, threw some electronics in. Pour some jello in. Some jello. Shake it a bit. Make sure it's coated. Yep. There we go. We're getting down there. Oh, almost can access it. Almost. The goal is to put enough uh, <laughs> protection on it that by the time you get the protection off, you're so mad that you smash it on the ground. That's and right. then there's irony oh. because you just took the protection off. Meryl what is this? A beautiful Intellivision with um, some protection around the cable, which is very nice. So it doesn't bang around. There we go. That's off. And it's got something new on the back. Uh, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you, S. Ramirez, for subscribing. 28 months. 28 months. Holy crap. Um, it's got something new in the back, and it's not an RF port. It's got a bunch of uh, little holes in there. So Several what it holes. is, is a mini DIN connection. He has upgraded. And let me do some close-up shots of that. So you can see it here first. Very nice. I mean, it's got a little bit of scratches. Um... Not from him. That's how I sent it to him. <laughs> but I mean, it's a very nice looking in television. Um, and there's the back. The controllers are perfect condition. Um, he did comment it's a very nice looking in television, which is why I wanted to upgrade it. So here is the connector he put in. Let's try and get really close so that it... So you block off the light and all block. you can see is darkness? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty dark. <laughs> Pretty dark. You, if you want, I can put some light on it. Uh, yeah. Actually, I, this, this might work. If I can. Yep. You're lighting it up real good. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> kind of. There we go. Now you guys can see it. So that's... What that is, is... Uh... uh let me read it out. Um, nine pin DIN that is an RGB out using uh, the Yannick 1.2 RGB board. Um, and it connects to, oh, careful. The uh, controllers gotcha. fall out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this Not is meant for to be home use only. Down. Oh, God. We're using it commercially. <laughs> um, and it connects up using a Genesis 2. Um, SCART cable. Um, so that can connect right up to the retro tank. Nice. Or if the retro tank is not up to the job, I can uh, back patch it and put it into a JP21. Are they able to see the action? Uh, yeah, they actually can. In full glory. Oh! Ah. Those are edible, actually. I was going to say, I think they're made of porn now. but They are. Um, He's like, no, you don't understand. I want one of these. Why do you keep... <laughs> Hey. I took it out of the box. 
Yep. You, why do you keep putting it back in? He loves them because they're they make noise. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we'll be looking at that in an upcoming show. We're going to be doing an Intellivision special in next week, I think. It's planned for next Friday, I believe. But also in the box, he has sent me the parts he took out, and also a. So there aren't more parts there. <laughs> no, no, he, uh, he he sent them back. So he. He's got the RF box that he uh, took out because that's where. No, no, oh, wow. no, no, no. Because that's. Um, I won't take it out. Because um, that's where the. Did he put a new sticker on it? Mm, no, it's a pretty nice, clean sticker. No, I don't think he put a new sticker on it. Fat free. <laughs> um, and he also sent me the Genesis 2 cable so that I will be able to hook it up because I did not have that one because I only have a Genesis 1. Stop it! Stop it! Hey, hey, hey! Loves those. Let's open up that. <laughs> so, there we go. And this is from Insurrection Industries. Sega Genesis Model 2 C-Sync cable. <laughs> so it has the little mini DIN on one end. And... Why is this giant plug the plug that is... <laughs> It's, the it's plug. like it's massive. The yeah. biggest plug ever created, and it's it's the new plug. <laughs> <laughs> it's the plug that's well. It's that's not new, new technology. It's quite old technology. Oh, well, how long has that type been around? Um, I would say early eighties. This? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, it was used in uh, primarily Europe for televisions, uh, connecting up things to the television. It's it's a SCART cable. Mm. Um, we didn't get them here. We got the three composite RCA mm. jacks instead. European standard, 80s. Hey, I got it. Um, but it's not bad. I don't. It doesn't click in well. I find it. It can wobble back and forth. So I'm not not overly impressed with this type of plug. RCAs are very solid. I, I really like RCA plugs. Uh, Pixel wants to check the Schrodinger's paradox. No. <laughs> Stay out of the box. We don't need to know if you disappear or not. <laughs> no. No. So, I'm very excited uh, to plug that in. We won't be doing that on camera. Um, but we will be doing it uh, when we do the special in television show in a couple episodes. But I will tell you when that will be at the end of the show when we announce. Show's coming up. Um, so thanks for tuning in, Vitoko, Crossbow, and thank you, Crossbow, for upgrading it. Yeah, it arrived intact. It doesn't seem like any hinges broke off. <laughs> it always has hinges. There's no hinges on it. <laughs> I um, was going to say, what? On 52, uh, uh, 5200s, there's a, a storage for your controllers at the top of it. It's massive. It's like this, this wide and this tall and this deep. Hmm. And you put your controllers in there, and it made the the 5200 the biggest i was gonna say it like doubles the size of the yeah. it's it's massive um i won't get it out it's hard to get out it's huge. because it's so big <laughs> because it's so big because but of it, what we're talking about but because the shipping it breaks the hinge off all the time so mm. it's always good to take that off i just had to epoxy epo epoxy the hinge and corner on a 5200 i sent out earlier this week bigger is better <laughs> phaser cat games makes 5200 games so there is love for the 5200, and finally we'll be able to play them soon on the show um, and play a bunch of Phaser Cat Games games. Uh, Vitoko, uh, Phaser Cat Games, S. Ramirez, Al Nefer, Metal at Lunar, uh, who else? Jedekiah, Splendid Nut, Andy Cat, um, RC70. RC70, as I thrust, thrust, Tom, Thomas Yanch. And Danny VC, Al Nefer, and anybody else who is lurking. So, some great things there. Uh, if I can keep this away from the cats. Ground Trooper. And Ground Trooper a little late. <laughs> Better late than never. You snuck in. Um, so, there is a. Cafe Man 2D. Cafe Man 2D. <laughs> Lurk. Uh, so there is uh, a new game being released on Cartridge. Uh, we have played it on the show. Uh, let me bring that news up here. That's like showing my alerts, but I think that's okay. Boom. Oh, 
Oh no, you have alerts. I have alerts. Alert, alert. Uh, so <clears throat> Michael Thomason posted recently, uh, September 29th, uh, that a new VCS game is coming out. We played this on the show, uh, Talvisota. Uh, Winter War, a game based on a historical battle between Finland and the Soviet Union that took place between 1939 and 1940. As an expert sniper, you move the crosshair of your weapon with the left joystick. Try to hit the moving targets that appear on the screen. So there is the uh, cover for the cartridge. It'll be sold at uh, Columbus, Ohio Retro Gaming Society. Uh, C-O-R-G-S on October 23rd. So a couple weeks from now. And there'll be 20 copies sold of that. And uh, yeah, we played on the show. And uh, so Eric Barker said, I was reading the game description thinking, this sounds familiar. Didn't Zero Page? Y yes, they did. <laughs> yeah, we did play it on the show. And he, and he linked it here. Zero Page Homebrew played an earlier build here at 24 minutes. So you can see what the game is like um on the show on that link um or if you're in that area go and buy a copy um next is a very uh weird thing that took me a bit to figure out what the hell they were talking about gateway posted this today um saying the end is near time is running out uh so he pointed out and, and then he posted some pictures of uh, Thomas's game and uh, Thrust Plus, which is a super fun game, which is why I have the foot pedal actually because I bought it for that game to play. Mm. Um, because you can play the Thrust Plus with the driving controller and the foot pedals because it has completely 360 spin, so you can point the direction you want and then foot pedals for That's cool, yeah. firing and uh, putting on the thrusters, etc. Uh, February is only a few months away. If you don't own a copy of this game yet, get it before it expires. I just wanted to give a shout out to the great game of one of the first 2600 homebrews I bought, bought back in 2004. If I remember correctly, when I was still new to Atari Age, at the time the boxes were still available with the foot pedal controllers were sold with the game as an option that Atari Age offered. Um, and I was like, what is still, what is he talking about? And then you look at this last picture and it says play before February 2022. So this game came out around 2002, 2003. So it was good for 20 years. So you better get your gameplay in um, or the shelf life, you know, expires. expires. It's going to go bad. It's going to start to smell. Uh, that's the implication. That's just the, the that's just the industries down. trying to get you to like buy the new one buy the right? new one yeah yeah i yeah. mean oh 2002 i'm pretty sure it debuted at cg uh, also 2K2. if you didn't open it and you kept it in the fridge it will it'll it'll it does, last longer it does it'll last, last long. longer than it than Be the expiry date because that's the date if you opened it right away when mm -hmm. you bought it so if you keep it um it's shelf stable i mean you put it in a plastic box <laughs> keep it on your shelf it works really great but if you've already opened it and played it, get your get a couple more get a couple more games in, and you might have to switch to the binary instead of the cartridge version. <laughs> Things will start to break down. It's forced obsolescence. Yeah. It's pretty annoying when people do it, but mm -hmm. you know some things don't last forever. Anyway, foot pedal and driving control is the best way to play Thrust Plus for sure. Planned 2002, delivered 2004, so that. That was a 20-year kind of thing. Uh, mine expired. Oh, S. Ramirez. That sucks. <laughs> um, does the binary corrupt? Yeah, it's... Uh, it, 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 I don't know how it gets the date, because there is no clock inside the 2600. Maybe if <clears throat> like you put in your plus cart and then switch li quickly switch it over, because a plus cart can connect to the internet. That's uh, not good. Just It's just not good. Um, it's... Just I'd be more joke. concerned if the Atari had a clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty old to have a clock. Computers um, back then. I wonder what the when the first ongoing clock on a home PC was. Did yours like Commodore sixty four didn't? Did the um, Trash eighty have an, a clock? I, I would be very surprised because yeah. like how would it keep track of it? Uh, uh, 
It would just have it, and you'd have yeah. a battery inside. That would... Yeah, but I don't think I don't think that was a thing. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Because there are upgrades for old computers now that people are making to give them clocks. To give them on continuous clocks. I'm pretty sure the first 5150 IBM did. Yeah, that 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 is handy because that's one of the yeah that's one of the things we take for granted is that it wasn't that long ago that you couldn't take it for granted but well, nuts are gone just like that like them. the time is yeah, well there's a whole bag upstairs okay i can go get some right now if you if you're sad uh sure yeah because yeah, i'll go into the next story i am sad <laughs> i'm sad you ate them all uh, um so another Another update, Gopher 2600. If you haven't heard of this emulator, it's an up-and-coming emulator uh, made by Jet Set Illy uh, for the 2600, and it does some pretty cool stuff. Um, so he posted a couple hours ago this morning that he's upgraded to 0 0.14.1. Um, I've got some performance import improvements for the debugger in the pipeline for the next version. This has allowed me to make the rewind feature more interactive and more naturally feeling. Natural feeling of it. Attach the short video below. Uh, this is a great emulator for developers because of what I'll show you in a second. Uh, simply by selecting the pixel on the screen, the emulation instantly sets itself to how it is at that video cycle. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> As a version of uh, 0.14, you can do this, but it feels clunky by comparison to the development version. So he's working on a new version past this. Notice how the CPU window is showing half-decoded instructions. Stepping by CPU instruction is the usual thing in an emulated debugger, but I feel to be able to step forward and backwards by clock, color clock is helpful, particularly with the 2600 where the image on the screen is so closely tied to the current state of the machine. Incidentally, I snuck out a 0.14.1 yesterday, which has support for the right side player joystick, as it's still in production, obviously, if um, there's no support for the joystick till now. Added this one, Al the first pointed out he couldn't play Nuki Shea's Missile Command, which we played last show. Uh, hack without it. Keys for the second joystick are the same default in Stella. So let's actually take a look at the emulator, because it is astounding boom it's gonna be a little small on your guys screen but what i've loaded is i've loaded what did i load uh a roach in space by vhzc i haven't started it yet but you can go into debug mode and this is the screen you get so this is uh the display and you can disassembly actually, yeah disassembly <laughs> um assembly and disassembly <laughs> Uh, and you can go on the screen and it shows you exactly what scan line you're on, what clock you're on, what frame you're on, um, NTSC, PAL, um, turn off cropping. So you can see all this stuff where it's ex executing um, code outside of the visible um, screen, which is over here. Uh -huh. um, you have the TIA information. Cat, come on. None of that. Come on, how'd you get? Uh, TIA information, which you can actually change. So I can change uh, the background to uh, some sort of pinky thing and go step. Oh, it didn't work. I don't think it's actually executing code to show the background yet. Boom. Um, player, play field, player zero, player one, missile, missile one, missile zero, missile one, ball. Um, you can see all the CPU um, flags. Um, the accumulator, the X, the Y, uh, the stack pointer. Um, you can step through the game or whatever program. You can go run. And it'll show you the game. It'll actually show you the code as it's executing. Mm -hmm. So we go halt. And that's where it is. It's on, it's storing the accumulator in Playfield 2 at that moment. And you can go step, and it'll go to the next one. <clears throat> um, and it's loading something. And you can actually go back, and it'll go back to that code. Oh. And the cool thing is you can click anywhere on the screen, and it'll go back to that code. So it went wow. back in time to that where it's drawing the screen at that moment. Click okay. a different one? 
So F072, so let's go back just a little bit. F06A, um, it's super, super cool. Mm -hmm. And you can actually go forward in time as well, anywhere you want on the screen. Uh, you can go to the next frame wow. and then go into that frame, That's so cool. drawing it. Um, I believe, I don't <clears throat> know if there's any thing so you can set joystick. I don't think it has that yet because on Stella you can say press up on the joystick and it will hold up on the joystick while you step through the program. I guess you could like press up or press the space bar and then do a run. Maybe? No. Mm. So I'm not sure how you would do that. Um, you can also slow down the frames for a second and actually see the screen being drawn or put it up to 100 frames a second which is a little bit more and so is this not showing the you can see stuff off page it's not so we can do the, the cropping i mean it's, there's nothing going on out there nothing going on Got a I, line. I, I mean you can see the background up there mm. oh you have to capture the mouse first oh the mouse oh there we go okay uh, right button to release mouse. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, so now we're in the game, playing the game. We can go frame, 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 frame. Do a scan line. Actually, let's go to this scan line because that's right there. That's interesting because the enemy will be moving down. So it's redrawing the new position of the enemy there. Um, and you can step through the uh, disassembly. It shows you what bank you're in. You can change and look at different banks. Obviously, it's not executing code in bank, that bank. Go to current. I wonder what happens if you go to current. Oh, it just goes to current and goes back to the bank. Uh, you can show what ROL is in, in hexadecimal. It's 2A if you want. Um, you, don't, you can do it so you don't follow the CPU. And you can just look at code. Oh, I see. Um, and it flashes whenever it's on that. Yeah. Bit. Uh, it shows you the audio from the VCS and the combined mono audio of mm -hmm. those two uh, TIA channels. Mario, Unbelievable. Mario, Mario, because the uh, VCS has stereo? Uh, yes. Well, it has two channels. It actually was planned to be a stereo device and have two speakers uh, in yeah. the VCS. That's why there's grill marks. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's got two channels, one on the left, one on the right, but it's combined through the RF um, to yeah. the TV. Some people have modded their VCSs to have actual stereo output. Hmm. It's two RCAs, just like that. Um, yeah, it's super cool. Um, I'm sure there's some stuff that I'm missing, but you like this. Oh, now we can change it. Let's make it light blue and do a frame. Oh, <laughs> it actually said it. Like, no... No, uh, you can finish that frame well, with your you blue. Changed, you changed it, and then it changed it back to where it's supposed it to be, right? It did, yeah. It's like, no, no. Uh, it's explicitly setting it. So it gets one frame of it, and but if it doesn't explicitly set it, it would stay blue, right? And, oh, yes, that's a good point. Uh, Go for 2600 supports plus ROM functions. So that if you're loading a plus ROM into this it can communicate back to their back end um like if you're playing the helicopter game uh which uh, i can't remember the name of it right now um it's, more than one. it's like hero except different, oh, yeah, different yeah. acronym yeah uh it'll talk back and load the levels dynamically alan fur will post it it's his game um, anyway, that's really cool. So if you're a developer, definitely check out Go for 2600. Uh, the new version shows a Wi-Fi signal on the network actions. Oh, super cool. So you can see up in the top corner there, um, it shows you what bank, what uh, bank scheme it's using, F4, shows you the name, shows you that it's, uh, I don't know, it's from a disk. Um, and I guess it would show the Wi-Fi symbol there. And it also shows... A little cassette tape symbol if you're using a Starpath Supercharger cassette version of it. Ah. There's a lot more that I am not 
uh, saying, but there's so much there. Well, I guess it's big enough for you guys to see. Okay. So this this is how you can locate like bugs. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's ways to or one way stop to code or yeah, one way to do it, and it's very very handy to look around how your code is affecting the screen <clears throat> directly. Uh, might be unfair to high score ROMs. Um, well, maybe, yeah, because you could stop and cheat. <laughs> uh, okay. But you could always do that with emulation anyways. Is you could. Problem? You yeah. could change the code. I mean, it's pretty wide open for that, <clears throat> so. Don't cheat, people. That's why you need, like, a external camera to record it. Isn't that That's, the case? Yeah, a lot of the case, you have to have a camera. You have to show them that it's a cartridge, usually, like the original cartridge, not a ROM, mm -hmm. right? And then you have to show the cables to your joystick, cables to the TV, <clears throat> cables to your recording, all of that to make sure it's legit. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's on to Game of the Bear by Va Vladimir Zuniga, VHZC, as he's known in the forums. Uh, this is first posted September 23rd. This build is from yesterday, so it's fresh, it's new. And he's actually put out some t-shirts already for the game uh here are the two t-shirts here's the bad guy that's pretty great that uh is uh kidnapped you from what i'm gathering he hasn't posted the story or what it's about yet but you, he's he's put has some animatics in the new version that he just posted and uh you'll see them but this is the bad guy and this is you um he's made it uh halloween themed which is interesting so this is uh, appropriate for october Maybe he's trying to finish it before the end of October for a uh, uh, Halloween release. But uh, you're the bear, and it's called Game of the Bear. And you can get these on uh, t-shirts. High score uh, difference between carts and emulator. Yeah. Okay, so it is time. Polar bears love Halloween. Ah, that's why. Now it is all making it sense. It does make sense, yeah. <laughs> it does make sense because they're like, Bring on the seal meal. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> it's starting to get cold. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there you go. Darcy's up first. Also candy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Candy, please. Game of the Bear. So this is from yesterday. It's a 32K F4 game. Um, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Nice little screen clear. That is a great pixelated bear image. Game of the Bear, VHZC 2021. And I believe this music is from another game of his. I can't remember which one right now. We might change it in the end. Maybe it's his theme song. Go for it! Here's the animatic. Oh, oh, he got sucked up by a machine. And there's that wizard. Ha 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 ha! Oh ha ha ha! I have captured the bear finally! Oh no, I'm in the cage! Luckily and I can jump! And there's a springy thingy. Ah, the springing. <laughs> um, no, and your with my head. your score. Was this? Or your timer counts down. Oh, not up. No, nope, not up. There's no score. Yeah, oh, I can't get out. Uh, where's look. my key? Oh, I forgot my keys at home. Okay, I'll go over oh, here and see. You no go. snakes. Oh no, a snake. Two snakes. Nice. Okay. It's oh Pong. Oh my God, I am still alive. Nobody, <laughs> even I, can believe this. <laughs> So in this one, he's got different puzzles than normal. He's got moving blocks, which is super cool. Now it's going to get hard. So he posted, hey guys, hi guys. I wanted to show a new game I'm working on. It's a platform. Nope, nope. that's not how you do it. <laughs> that, boys and girls, that's not how you do it. He's showing you Apparently. what not to do. Don't, like the bats are deadly. Don't mess with them. Purple bats. It's not good. It's not a good time. I can't chase. I can't get in front of it. Be right behind I'd be, it. It'd be so hard to I get to the left here? of it. Yeah. There you I go. Guess that's it. Yeah. There you go. You got it. Oh. <laughs> that's too much. Don't too push the button much. that much. Just a just a little bit. Not not, not too much. But a little, there you no. go. Oh. There you go. These are the blue bats. Can the bear crouch? Oh yes. Press down. He can crouch. But you can't, unlike um, 
close it back up. Unlike gotta, gotta the, leave it as leave it as safe as you found it, right? Unlike the sliding sliding ninja, he can't slide when he crouches, but he can crouch. So it'd help you in that kind of situation. I'm still alive. Sorry, I just oh, need yeah. to celebrate da, while da, I am da. still alive. Yeah. Cause Cause after... I, if I wait until I'm dead to appreciate that I was alive, it's too late. You're dead, and the this... bears cannot slide. Thrust says. Um, no. <laughs> uh, it's a platformer called Game of the Bear. I wrote it from scratch, trying to make a more efficient engine. Oh. Um, its mechanics are basic platform stuff, but it's, since I'm making more use of the PF pixels as dynamic elements, it's a more puzzly approach. Whoa. Uh, this is the first demo consisting of just a handful of screens, but is completely playable. I've tested on Stella and actual hardware and haven't found any bugs yet. Uh, he's, his games are fairly free of bugs. Bunk, bunk, bunk. You're hitting your head. You're hitting your head. Nice fire. Oh! Oh, into the fire. Last life. I think. Apparently, oh. this is that game where the number <laughs> down there includes the one you're currently playing. Yeah. I don't. I don't know which is that. It's. Remember, I argued super hard that it was obvious it should be one way or the other, and now I can't remember. Which <laughs> <way I> <laughs> yep. Now he's Smokey the Bear. Okay, go, go again. I have some more reading. You'll do better. Uh, no, I tend to be first time lucky. I suspect I will be worse than last time. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, no, it's a thing. It is. First time yeah. luck. Because you weren't too worried. You're just playing, discovering. Um, as always, testing and feedback will be appreciated. No problem. We will do that. Um, so he posted it and he corrected one, re corrected his post right away with corrected, misplaced, respawn in screen with skull. Switch reset, restarted the game in end of demo screen. Then he did an update shortly after. He expanded it to 32 screens, changed some uh, some changes in levels and sprites. He does like updating his sprites a lot. Um, and he put in some teleporters. Oh, hit your head on the back. You bitcha. And then he updated it to this version, which is 42 screens. And he did some cosmetic changes and added the intro cutscene as well. Uh, Caffeman 2D said, My cousin was mauled by a Pennsylvania black bear twice in the same day. Oh my god. That's really terrible. Twice in the same day. Was it the same bear? And <laughs> why did they. Did the bear come back? Did your cousin not leave the area? Or was were let's they... just first before this sounds victim blamey. The bear yeah. was definitely the bad one. Oh yeah, yeah. We're not blaming your cousin. We're just wondering um, um, if he complicated we'll assume... things, made it worse. <laughs> we'll assume he didn't provoke the bear. But um, <laughs> poking it with a stick. Run! He no. was he was hunting. He was hunting cub. No. <laughs> That would do it. He was hunting, comma, cubs. He got mauled, limping out of the woods, mauled again. Oh, my God. That's a, that's really terrible. Hunting deer. Okay, not hunting cubs. Because uh, there would be justifiable grounds, possibly, for the mother bear to be attacking your cousin if he was hunting cubs. Cubs were there. Yeah, they get a bit, they get a bit protective. Well, and this is where I made. Oh, apparently, apparently I was wrong. Apparently, I made it. Uh, yeah, you did. Well, there's a button. Now I'm gonna tell you, it doesn't last long. I knew. I knew it. 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 <laughs> Seven hundred and fifty stitches. Oh my God! Run, Forest. Don't bother. <laughs> I pushed it the wrong way. <laughs> you certainly did. Luckily, there's a reset. It's always funny in games where there's um, an evil bad guy, right? And you're going through his... It's always funnier when the bad guy is evil, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
And you're going through his castle, oh. we're assuming. It's it's at least his land that... Um, and uh, he doesn't just imprison you. He puts you in an area where there's puzzles to solve. Yeah. And elaborate traps. <laughs> Not just a really, really well... He doesn't devote his time to making a really, really well-enclosed um, prison. <laughs> he just sets up all these crazy traps that are, are evadable. Oh, okay. Dr. Rizzardo is not a genius. Just a mediocre scientist <laughs> wizard. So really all these are his inventions that he's maybe testing out on the bear. The defining, his defining feature is that he's crazy. Not <laughs> that he's some other thing. Yeah, the other things are aside. The number one feature, crazy. Ha, you ha, can ha, tell ha. from the laughing. Look at yeah, the laughing. You know right there. It's maniacal. From the loony bin. Yeah, straight up crazy. There's no hope for him. But he's also very brilliant. Like, look at all these things he's invented. Like, uh, are these mechan... Oh my god, that was terrible. Like paired snakes. <laughs> like paired snakes that go in unison. That's pretty good. And, you know, Pong machines... That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And these new additions of these things that are pushed around are awesome. And these buttons that alter the, the screen, it's uh, super, super, super cool. So he's really stepped up his game. And the look of the creatures are, are super Oh yeah, awesome. it's, it's, it looks awesome, man. And the bear looks awesome, too. Yeah, he's got a good running cycle. His bouncy, bouncy little arms. Nope. No? It's the other way, right? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Run! I would think... We already all agree that polar bears love Halloween. But I <laughs> yes. think this polar bear probably hates Halloween. Well, after this, he now won. the trauma. Oh, the it'll last real. forever. Like, it's atrocious what this bear is going through. Oh. And I, and I love the spring. Looks cool. Like it, it, mm -hmm. it actually springs. Like yeah, it doesn't really doesn't just push you up. The springs actuate. Actuate. Have you done this? I have. Oh, okay. But there are some screens I have not done. Okay. Now, no. Uh, I'm doing terrible. I believe these reset. And you have to wait till they kind of come in your direction. Right, yeah. Now, now you go. Oh. Oh. Run, there. run, run. Run, run, Whew. bear, run. Whew. I want that treasure! Oh, Does it give me a gun? You today. Ted the Bear. <laughs> it's a curse lab. That's why it has the Halloween-y vibe. Ah. Ah! No! Terrible. Am I going to have to jump right away? Yeah. Oh, it goes right to the edge. Mm -hmm. A safe screen. Uh, okay, so and we'll see you later. We're going to go take a... <laughs> a little break. No. Oh, the lightning. VHZC lightning. And uh, VHZC has uh, joined us in the chat. Thank you. Oh, can I go? Oh, I can go up or continue. Bear don't have pockets, so you can only carry one key at once. Oh, okay. So this turns off the lightning. And I go back to the yeah, lightning? Ah, I guess. Oh, go yeah, quick, it's quick, off. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, oh. Oh, and then, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. So and is this you get a key? A treasure. Okay. You've got a key, but you can only have one at a time. Oh god. Did that you means... see any locks? Well, the three locks at the beginning. Oh. So you have to go all the way back. And that's a good hint, because yeah. I'm guessing you have to go all the way back, and then all the way forward again, and continue you have to on go back. there. I know. I know. Yeah. Because otherwise, you know, if he didn't say that, I would continue going forward. Yeah. Um, oh, he says there's a teleporter's ahead. Oh, okay, that will help a lot. That but that might mean how you get back. Maybe you don't have to run all the way back. Oh. 
Okay. But the deadly pumpkins are your biggest threat, so. Uh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, VH. Let's see. He, his hint actually threw me off. So now he had to correct. He's just messing the hint. with you. Okay, what is happening here? You have here? to hit the button. Okay. Oh, to give. Oh, that helped a bit. Helped a bit more. <laughs> nice. Love it. You don't have to run away either because the skull doesn't. Unless oh. it comes down. True. Unless it changes its behavior. Oh, it's just for jumping up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Who's going to fall? Are you going to fall? Are you going to fall? No, they're just deadly if you jump. Sp oh, my God. Oh, and it's game over. It's game over, man. It's game over. But I had some terrible, stupid deaths. Are you going to play? You want to play? You go again. I play twice. Okay. Here, you read. You read some things. Right from here. James does not abide any slacking off or just sitting there. You no. must be doing some work. Read and some And for me, info. the work today is reading. <laughs> Get your reading done. <laughs> where? From where? Uh, there. What makes this engine different from others? No, you didn't start from the top. Well, why did you point at that line if you wanted me to read where? You pointed at this line. Well, no. Above that. You all saw it. it. You didn't. Oh, you don't have the evidence to judge. So just trust. Uh, I'm right. Just trust that I'm an honest person and he's a scoundrel. That's a terrible assumption. It's a terrible assumption. I, but it's only half. So start. Wrong. Start from the place that we're both good people, and then judge from there, based on our past actions. Kev Kelly asked in the forums, I really enjoyed the animations and the levels. This plays really well. I always wondered about a more dynamic physics. What makes this engine different from your others? VHZC. It uses more collision boxes and coordinates than hardware collision registers to check interaction between players, missile, and ball for more precise collision detection. Also, the play fields are created on the fly through data and PFRs instead of PF definitions. That's it. That saves some space because I have only, I have to only define the uh, PFRs that I am actually using. Uh, call him Dentley. Bentley's a less fortunate cousin. <laughs> can he can he slide while crouched like Ninja Guy? That would be a no. He he turns. No, it was declared earlier that bears can't slide. <laughs> I'm not sure how true that is. Well, on ice maybe they can, maybe but down hills I've seen. Yes. video of them not personally no <laughs> that'd be cool i have seen bears i've Near seen my bears house, too i saw there were black bear not by my house but in the near your house near it okay one time we were taking our neighbor's child for a walk in the stroller and in we the heard woods. a loud like cracking like i don't know just like a loud noise of some power happening and i was like what is going on is there construction or something and we're walking along and we look over and there's just trees, and then there's this like black void of like, oh my god, of nothing. Uh, and yeah. we realized that where there's no light, that was actually a black bear. There's so black that you that it's like you don't see the bear, you see absence of light. <laughs> and it was up a tree, and it was like, oh my, are god. they still here? <laughs> and and the loud like, the loud sound of something powerful like, was branches being destroyed or like it climbing a tree or something. Oh. Can you get that? That might be more boxes to open. But I was telling a story and reading. I and know. Watching you play at the same now you have another job to do. Is get merchandise from the door, which is I'm guessing is my UAV key. Now we're gonna believe VHZC and look for the teleporter ahead. No more boxes for me. Crossbow. Only one box. Expecting at least five boxes. Da, da, da. Don't show that. Don't show no, that. No, not. It's a, just a oh, panic. <laughs> panic. So another time. The internet's forever. So another time. Uh, my wife and I were walking through the woods, and uh, we saw this big do dog poop on the side, and I thought, oh, that looks like bear poop. Yeah. But it's probably not. <laughs> That's foreshadowing. Um, and then we're walking along for a bit, Hooray. and we come out of this path, uh -oh. and just ahead of us, on the we come out of a T junction, and just ahead we see this super long legged black bear, not like huge, long -legged. but that's what it looked like. It it seemed like it had long legs, and it was like, 
It was running across the path. And then it, before that, there was zero noise from the bears. Zero noise. It was like Damn super it. stealth mode. And then when we saw it, it must have seen us too. And it was like, ooh, jumping. And it smashed through the bush, like away oh from us. Like, ah, it just like took off. Like, and we were... And then I noticed that my wife and I were then holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't recall that happening. We were just like, oh, oh I can't push this off. What? Anyways. That's an interesting way. That's my exciting story. Oh, cool. no, there was another time. Uh, I was in the reserves, and we were at the range in Chilliwack, and we all had our rifles, and we were on the side of the road cleaning them. <laughs> no, I skipped part of the story. The night before, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was on watch, and we were making tea, and it was like a herbal berry tea that we were making. And we were joking about how, oh, you know, someone, oh, no. had, someone had hurt a bear. Yep. And we were joking about we were going to attract the bear with the berry tea. But <laughs> that part's boring. Anyways, the next day we're all sitting on the road and this is also boring. I've ruined the whole story. There was a bear and we all had rifles. Uh huh. But none of us had any ammunition <laughs> because that's not how it works. And bears don't really understand guns. Yeah. So they're like, oh, that's a stick. I don't know. You're not very scary. But it was a little bear. It was not oh. very big. Yeah. Okay. It should have been scared of us. Except it should more of you. Because it could have like... There were more of you. Yeah. The, if all the of right us way? got together, we could have taken it in a fight. I think I'm going the wrong way. Maybe not. The, the locks were very early, right? Oh, yeah. It was almost... It wasn't the first thing, but it was like very shortly after. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Whoa, what? So oh. there was no teleporter? Is that worse? Um, no, I, I went through the teleporter. Oh, and where did it bring you? Um, back to that teleporter room that was locked off at the top. Oh, I see. Am I going too far? No. No. No, you have to go through all of the puzzles. Because before this, oh, there wasn't even a puzzle. <sighs> it's good he didn't make us go through, like, a ton of them. Just a lot of them. Like usual. <laughs> As per usual, but you know they're not they're not terrible, not too mm. bad. The best bear story. Okay, so I was a kid. <laughs> oh my god, a lot of bear stories. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were in Jasper um, Park in Alberta, and there were people camping. Ever was a big campsite, and we wake up in the morning and there's bears all over the place, today, everywhere. <laughs> bears all over the place. And like. What? They're misbehaving. Like, one of them is lying on the side of a tent. And there are people in the tent. Oh, my God. And the people are, like, just starting to move around. Like, what's going on? And we're like, oh, my God, there's a bear in your tent. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, I was lying here. And then oh, there, there was another go. one. That's and it bad. was, like, trying to get at, like, a... That's it was like awesome eating teleporter. the food. It was like eating food out of someone's, like, thermos. Like, or what do you call it? Cooler. Um, and no, another bear was like trying to get a cooler that was like hanging in a tree because they'd done it right, something like that. And then <laughs> over on the, the side, there's this other bear, and he's just sitting there behaving, eating berries <laughs> like a good bear. Like not misbehaving. Doing bear things. Best bear. And me and my friend are there, and we're like, oh, there's a bear he's eating berries. I mean, we, wh why weren't we hiding? I don't know. I now would always hide. Um, <laughs> I just want to interrupt so, your story for one second. This is a very cool teleporter animation. Actually, I shouldn't go through this teleporter because I just discovered them. Uh, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you the teleporter. Do, 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 do bear teleportation. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is super awesome, but I'm going to go back. Okay. Actually, I'm going to see where the other teleporter goes. Probably death because I haven't been there yet. Somewhere magical, but I'm going to go back, leave that teleporter for now. So, anyways, before yeah. we were interrupted with another bear story. Uh, <laughs> so, so okay. from our perspective, up behind cool. the other bear comes this guy with this huge camera and a giant flash on it. And what? he's all like, click, flash. And the bear's like, ah! <laughs> bear starts running at me and my friend, and we're like, ah! We start running. We're like running away from the bear, and the bear's chasing after us, but not really. I don't really remember what happens after that. In my memory, the bear is like, we're running and the bear is like running up beside us. And he's like, what are you running from? And we're like, I don't know. What are you <laughs> running from? But in reality, uh, it probably took off a short while after. And uh, that was the 
bear story where I was uh, chased by a bear, but not really. And then, You're... so the only real reoccurring nightmare I've ever had has been I'm being chased by a grizzly bear and there's nowhere to hide because you can't hide under things and you can't hide if the trees if the tree is too small for the grizzly bear to climb he will just push it over i don't know if that's true but in my dream it's definitely true those are for my ran very cool story oh my god i rewind <clears throat> you distracted <clears throat> me and now i have one life left yes it's my fault yep it's my <laughs> <laughs> so i didn't think they would go that far Oh, there's some really cool stuff in here. Is that a... F yeah, it's a fish. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! Just over the ears. Whoop. Oh, oh! I thought he was going to shoot it yeah, the other way. Yeah, I was wondering if he was going to shoot the other way. I was like, oh, tricky <laughs> he fish. Should. He should. You can never trust fish. He should. Is that water going up? Or is it going really fast? Is it deadly? There's like a thing here. I bet I have to block off the water. That is so awesome. Oh my god, that's awesome, VHC. You make the best platformers ever. I can't get that button. Oh, now I can. Oh, maybe it drops the chest down. Or maybe it kills me. Oh my god. Oh, thank god, I have more lives. Thank you, VHC. <laughs> filled me up with lives. <laughs> That was awesome. It's like, I'm going to die. About, oh, no, trap, what is happening? <laughs> There's this moment of us, of us like, being like, what? What have you done? This is not fair. It is an unfair trap. And then trap. instead of unfair, it was more, it was like unfair more than, the other way. It was like. More than fair. Yeah. Three How extra, many lives did you get? Three extra lives. Wow. I'm very happy. Yep, there's a timer. But do I die if the timer runs Yeah, I thought out? it was a press that crushes you too. I was like, what is happening? You go the other way for the chest, right? Yep. That'll be the second key. key. The second key. Now I have to go all the way back. I haven't figured out what those boxes do, though. This? No. In the next screen. Oh, oh, you push them around. Yes, but for what? To what end? Oh, to get back up there? Yeah. Because uh, you not you can't jump high enough. Need a little bit of help. The first time we ran into it, I didn't need it. I guess that was the reason I was confused. Yeah. Oh, water's still good. Persistent. Puzzles. Ah, ah! He shoots on the way back. Ah, he has to have time to turn around. And if He's I go a here, sneaky fish, but, uh, he's turned uh, around already. Sneaky fish. Sneaky fish, but not uh, quick. No, not super quick. Okay, those guys. I don't know what they are. They're they're lobs of disgustingness. Love the eye. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you use that to your advantage? Oh, yeah, I got killed there. Can you stand right on the edge? Mm -hmm. Find out. You got four lives. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to do that. There's no need. You got duck. Oh, I didn't need to do that on the way forward. Because it's a different direction, Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Quack, quack. Got a duck. Yay. Okay. Now I go back in the teleporter. Remember there's a timer. Yep. I don't know if the timer is if the like... the time is over, then the game is over. Oh, God. Okay. I've been wasting time listening to your stories. No, you didn't stop to listen <laughs> to my stories. I saw you playing the whole time. Because I wanted to talk about something on the screen. Yeah, that's not as important as my story. <laughs> Gotta go. Quick. 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 That's his way of killing you, putting that timer on there. It, yeah. Apparently. You can stand for, for there, yeah. Yeah. I won't stand for it. <laughs> nope. You did? Bonk. Second. Unlocked. Do -de -do -de -do -de -de. Did you use the teleporter? Uh, I did. The second time? Yeah, I did. Because it's a long way yeah, back I missed the, the home. Teleportation. You did. You're talking bear stuff, I bet. So much bear stuff. 
I but it's relevant. My bear stories. It's relevant. Are they? Uh, maybe I, not. Uh, they, I've never had like encounters with bears. I've seen them from afar, like, but never. Oh no! The other day, I think we played it on the show actually, um, where a bear ran in front of us. Well, not the other day, but it's a while back now. But when we played it on the show, it was the other day, and he ran in front of us on the road back from Whistler. That was terrible. It was faster now. Yeah, on the topic of black bears being really dark, we there was another encounter we had with the bear. Just driving down the highway, we were Thank like... Thank you, Ricardo Pam, for subscribing for 15 months. Excellent. See, there's the teleporter. Mm. And now we go to the third land, third area that you can only get to through teleportation. Ah, but Mystery oh, land it does with gaps. It's probably safe there. And so we were driving down the road, ah, and it those. was that whole thing about, like, what oh, we can't God. see. Okay, this is easy. This is like, I'm going to add more kind of thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Because it was only, like, two screens. But but allow you to finish it now. That's yeah, but allow to finish which is which is awesome. Yeah. So that he can put the end screen, do the three locks. There may be stuff oh. after the three locks, though. I, I don't think so. I think it's going to be an end screen right after the three locks. But I have to make it back in 646 uh, things. Timer points. Yeah, BHNC uh, says that zone is under construction. It will be longer. Yeah. Uh, I thought so. She put an under construction sign. <laughs> Yeah, the bears, they usually run away because they yeah. they're not dumb. They're like us. They're like... We don't want to be hurt. It's not that they think you will kill them, I don't think. I think it's they think... they're like It's like spiders. It's like, we don't think spiders will kill us. They're just icky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. They're like... Well, they, they might hurt there's me. A, there's they might hurt me before of, I kill them. Yep, there's a chance And they don't injury. look that tasty. No, no, we're not tasty. <laughs> We've been eating bad stuff. <laughs> we're not tasty at all. Oh, that was a bad jump. Should have gone in further. The last lock. Should I wait for the timer to go down? Uh, no. Oh, that's it. Okay. And demo. demo. Do, 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 do. I, was, I was just noticing that there was nowhere to go. It was like, this oh, is your... It's, he's true. upgraded from it, a small cage to a bigger cage. It could, have, it could have opened a door. It could have. No, but I mean, like, there was a place to go, but it oh. didn't... It was... No. Do, 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 do. Now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I like it. I yes. am surprised I was able to uh, survive as long as I did, to be honest. Uh, um, that's a very good compliment to VHHC. Uh, this is an Atari 2600 game. Uh, it is awesome. It is a platformer. VHHC does awesome platformers. And he's got like such an, a wide array of enemies and puzzles now. And the bear looks great. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. yeah. Like, even at that... that um, You've got a realistic bear on the, on the front there. And the wizard's awesome. He's, yeah. uh, V says he's so good at uh, graphics and uh, making awesome graphics from really small amounts of data. Because uh, sprites are only 8 pixels wide on the 2600. And so that's all you have. So you see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight. So that bear is exactly eight across. There's no empty spaces. It's really good. Um, great to see uh, the wizard truly enjoying his work. The boss battle is already coded. I want to reach 50 screens. So he's almost done. Uh, I think this is 43, 42. So I guess there'll be a um, possible boss battle, maybe to get the last key. Like you defeat the boss, key comes down, go back, unlock to your freedom maybe you get to run back scamper back into the forest or he's a polar bear he's white back into the snow um thomas yench asked in the forum i wonder if you have any plans for something completely different because thomas yench is like you've done platformers you've done shooters um there's two style of games that i'd really like to try to create but i'm still trying to figure out how to make them a good racing game for the 2600 and or 7800 and some sort of TBS for the 7800. I had to look that up. Do you know what that is? T 
TBS. TBS no. game. Uh, Turn-based strategy game. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be super cool for the 7 Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you could totally do... Yeah, because you don't need... Like, for turn-based, you have so many options for that don't require intense graphics or whatever. No, yeah. just decent graphics and the 7800 you can do text as well you always want decent explain. graphics but yeah 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 oh, oh okay yeah that like that. shining force slash fe mm, not familiar with that i'll have to look that up so let's see what uh, what vh said see aspires to uh youtube uh shining force fe Feather? Feather? Shining Force. We'll just go Shining Force. Uh, Shining Force. 1991 to 2020. Let's look at that. Um, and mute it. We'll just skip through it. So we get a, a kind of an overview of what it's trying to do. This doesn't look like turn-based strategy. Oh, is it like... Oh, yeah. No, there it was. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. And then you have one-on-one -on -one fights as well. Oh, well, the yeah. strategy... Okay. Oh, it's sort of like chess moves type... Not mm -hmm. chess moves. Not really chess no. moves, but like... Pick that guy, attack that guy. Pick yeah, that yeah. guy, attack so that like, guy. So like uh, Ultima. Yeah. yeah, very much like The Ultima. battle portion of Ultima, yeah. Yeah. And then it just gets better looking as time goes on. Oh, and then 3D, which is early 3D. It's funny I, how I it goes don't. from like really good to like oh no it's it's, it's dropped th it's much worse now <laughs> dropped temporarily but 3D. much worse but three D <laughs> and then uh, overhead three quarters three D and then full three D but I'm guessing if he's talking about seventy eight hundred it's going to be back at um, this kind of this wow. kind of look to it not it's not going to be three D it's not going to sure. be that good <laughs> no it's not gonna I be mean that's good. amazing. It is. Uh, Shining Force CD. Oh, Sega CD. No, it's not going to be Sega. TBS are my drug. So he's definitely looking forward to making one. Super awesome. Fire Emblem. That's that would FE be uh, really I fun know, to play. Uh, oh, Fire Emblem. The Game Vampire 13 set. Um, okay. <laughs> so that is it for the regular show. We are going to be doing Enduro as uh after dark after this and i'm going to get that patch i was that close like seconds away from getting the patch but you quit yeah i just turned it off so today you're more <laughs> determined to not turn it Good. off yeah, because yeah. seconds away it sounds like you should have kept going i was like oh i'm so close nah nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> rage quit <laughs> uh, more like apathy quit nah. yeah yeah <laughs> so some shows coming up you need to test out it yeah we will um now that shipping rates went back up effective today i heard about that going back up for holidays shipping um so we're gonna be playing on oh. the next show a bunch of 8-bit games specifically return of the fungi and Demo's Underworld, possibly, and Betty's Issues. There we go, three games. Um, those are relatively new games for the Atari 8-bit. And then, next Friday, it's Intellivision Day. And we're going to be playing Intellivania, which is uh, um, right up here. Which is Castlevania for the what Intellivision. Are they seeing? They're seeing us. Okay. And we're also going to be playing... Calavania. Yeah. You know what? I Jump don't King think Jr. that's what the game looks like. No, it's a big <laughs> lie. I think the back lie. looks pretty good, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it, it, it'll be a fun, fun game. <laughs> and also Jump King Jr., which is uh, Jumpman Jr. for the Intellivision, which is one of my favorite games to play in the C64. Waiting for somebody to remake it on the 2600. There have been uh, about three close-ish games made none of them quite got finished and uh so maybe a third one but we'll be definitely testing out the intellivision i'll be testing out shortly after the show but not on the show um 
Unless you want me to, crossbow. I could do it right now. What do you think? Should we do it? Test it. Yeah, do it. Okay. Because it's easy to plug in. It's just a plug and then the cable. Uh, keep in mind that there's a cable chewer right below. Oh, he doesn't like this type of cable. He likes... He likes the this. telephone cord springy springy? No. no. He likes the braided cable uh. as a covering out on it. The ones that are protected. He likes the ones that yes. have armor on them. Yes. Because he likes to show... Look, at, he's looking for one right now. Look at him in there. Hey, oh, is this my kind of cable? He is. Nom, nom, That's nom. very funny. Okay. <laughs> Let's undo the power. My cat, Fuzz. Crossbow didn't say no. So I mean, I'm his name it. was Thor, not Fuzz, but we called him Fuzz. So Yeah. Anyways, he really liked the coily telephone cable. Uh, and at the time, <laughs> Luckily, that's those are the kind cheap. of telephones that I had. And I had like two or three of them in stock at all times. On one day, he chewed through two of them. That's why I had to have three. Okay, you got to move. Oh, I know. I know. Come on. Come on. Move. I plugged it in. Yeah. Okay, good. If you didn't want me to, then you shouldn't have handed it to me. Okay. And then like... I do want you to. <laughs> so we're going to put this in the retro tank because that is ready for this thing. Much easier. Tanya has a bear story. Uh, Kathy Man 2D says Tanya owes us her bear story. Oh, okay. Did she say? She's, she's not She's not stingy. She'd give you a bear story if she has one. Yeah. She would. Okay. Now he said be very careful plugging it in because you don't want to get it upside down. Yeah, he says care to be taken plugging in that 9 pin, remember. Okay, so um, let's put in the LTO flash because that'll have some stuff on it. No, you've got a frivet. No, frivet's little matted. He says, no, I will kill you before I let you do that. No, he's not trying to kill me. He's, he, he's hopeful that I'm playing with him. <laughs> he would like nothing better than to disembowel my arm in a playful fashion. Yes. Okay, so let's switch over to Scart. So this should be good. If one day you get things set up so that we don't do the turn over here <laughs> to see the controllers, and it's over here, it's gonna be. It's gonna like magical day. It's, no, it's gonna be the opposite. It'll be it'll be that negative side effect that you don't realize how funny it is. That everyone... <laughs> True. I don't know. Never mind. Here it comes. Never mind. Or not. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> but it did something. It went from blue to something. Yeah, it did. Maybe it's the cartridge. I didn't plug it in all the way. <sighs> Did the color on the side happen last time? Pal? Pal? No, nothing's pal here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I think that was brainstorming. Oh, yep. Um, I don't have another television cartridge super handy, except for in Televania. Do you have the triple buffer mode on? Ye most likely, yes. And should it be or not? Maybe it shouldn't be. Oh, I can't. Well. What would it normally do if there's no cartridge? Uh, nothing. Uh, Nakoto. 8 bits said it said PAL input. Did it? Yeah. So. Oh. It said CB. But, uh, yeah, you are correct. I was on the wrong input. I'm just giving. Um, Here we go. I'm giving crossbow a heart attack, actually. That's what I'm giving. <laughs> Is Thank so, you. so clean. Joko. A little picture. 
I cannot believe it. Yeah. It is so sharp. Look at it. Look at the sharpness of that. Yeah. That's oh really my god. Good. What do I have? Hard bark. It's Pac Man. Uh, it's Tempest. What's Jump? Uh, Jump. Find out. Jump OS. Oh, no, no. I don't think that's what we no. want. Let's do Aardvark. Or let's do Miss Pac-Man. Because everybody knows. Why is there two? Let's pick the top one. Oh. Oh, it doesn't like the top. This is another one I have to complain to. Uh, the guy who made the retro tank. See, it's, it's curling a bit. That's what it does in the 2600. It's not as bad as the 2600. Why does it do that? How is that the, the 2600? It's How uh, could that be the programming? If you could program it like that, oh my god, could you ever take advantage of that <laughs> and make some really no, no, cool no, stuff? It's the output. It's not interpreting the output correctly. Oh, okay. I can't hear it at all. I hear it, but it's not loud. So quiet. Yeah, the uh, retro tank is. says try a different mode. Tempest complained that he had the same curl on his on some modes, but didn't. But he didn't do it on. Uh, oh, Crossbows on other TV. modes. Okay. On Crossbows TV. Okay. Didn't do it. So. This is a very good uh, Pac-Man. It is very good graphics. A little stuttery when she turns corners, but. Uh, My complaint with like Pac-Man of the past was always that they just looked. They were always half -ass. Yeah, she's got the beauty mark, which is very impressive, actually, um, to have that uh, type of resolution on her. Um, yeah, let's try a different mode. Nom. Mm -hmm. Here, you, Nom. you play. <laughs> I know. I have... Um... No, I died, but it's your fault. Yes. Hey! But you can start again. This is a good one to do because it goes no. all the, way to the screen. No, naughty. 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 No. No, naughty. Uh, that's all blurry. But it's straight. It's straight, yeah. That's blurry and straight. That's chunky. That's chunky. That's, that's not chunky not, and not twisted. Not twisted. It's a little blurry, though. Yeah. Hey, play it, play it, play it, play it. Play what? Play it, play it. Get in there. How? Oh. Enter. Enter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of shifting, too. And this is the best. Oh, now it's not curling. Weird. Okay. <laughs> weird, 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 weird. <sighs> Looks perfect now. Oh, it's... is it smaller? It's smaller now. Didn't it go all the way to the bottom of the screen before? Not that that's a problem. What's that? Uh, you got a oh, free life? That seems a bit early. Oh. I don't know. The cherry is coming? <laughs> but yeah, it looks oh, good I now. Just, that's, that guy's always escaping me. Kind of cool. It looks like an old, oh, super rounded super CRT. Dead. Super, super dead. dead. <laughs> We're like all coming. But you almost finished the maze. No. Why is there one little dot over there? That's, That's where, where I died. died. That's where I died. It. I have to share those settings with Matt. But did you change any settings? Uh, or did you just cycle through them? Because it looks not good now, right? certain. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it looks, looks awesome it lo it does look good now. I don't think it's the same settings because the bottom of the screen did not didn't it go all the way to the bottom? I swear I went all the way around and went back to generic four by three. The other one all definitely of a had um, right to the top and yes. not right to the bottom. Oh, okay, so maybe it's the same, like, or at least not the same on the top and the bottom. Like more to the top than the uh... more to the top. Like the to it definitely went all the way to the top in a way that it didn't go all the way to the bottom. That's how I remember it. Yeah. 
I'll just finish this game of Pac-Man. <laughs> and then we'll move on. Ah! Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be uh, doing a massive test of all my consoles at some point um, to see how they work because a lot of the people are using the retro tank like play newer consoles. Oh my god. I should have gone down. Um, only use it with newer consoles. So I've never seen very few, very few people are using like Intellivision, Coleco, 7800, Atari 2600, any of these older stuff. So I don't think Mike Chi, the guy who's developing the retro thing is getting a lot of feedback mm. on those. So I'm going to have to be the one to tell him that it's not working. Look at, look at, it's fine now. That's really weird. Let me turn. What do you mean it's fine now? Like we already like more fine than it had been before? Yeah, it was like just slightly curled before. Do you mean ten seconds ago or three no, minutes ago? Three minutes ago. Yeah, we saw that it was curled then. It's just that you said it again as though now it had improved <laughs> even more, and I was confused. I get it now. I understand. Oh, see, look, look, look. Yeah, look, it's look, something look. about when it switched. When it goes blip. It's the switching. It's not. Yeah, it's not the code. It's there. I did yeah. a reset, and now it's fine. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely not the. It's a signal it's getting. Yeah, yeah. Hey, all the buttons work, and it's it's analog too, right? It's like oh, it's use, like curled. Use a diagnostic card to compare the color bar test. Oh, there's there's some color bars. Um, but I I will do all that off screen. Off. It's funny. Um, these are actually directions. So if you press two of them at the same time, it actually lights up those buttons and the disc. Ah. So these pads were never meant to be pressed two at a time. Yeah. And uh, also fire and down, the game would have to ignore one and three if you ever press fire and down in the game. It's like, did he press one or three? You, you can't do that. So you I've can't never use knew one this. and three in a game that you also use fire and down. Yeah. yeah. Or, but usually these buttons are used in menus and uh, special parts of the game, not in action parts of the game. Um, anyway, we'll do tests offline because this is not something I've prepared for. But anyway, it, it looks amazing. Um, the curling is part of the retro tank, not part of this. It's yep. super crisp and clear. I've never seen an Intellivision look this good. It's so good. So yeah. I'm yeah. super, super happy with it. Thank you so much, Crossbow. The Intellivision has an odd sync, so that's part, likely part of it. So just the developer has to deal with that. Um, and uh, actually, I'll go back to the... I don't have it plugged in. But it, the 2600 does the same thing, but it's like constant. It's always there. And it's much more curled. Uh, so, uh, thank you for tuning in, everyone. Um, I guess I had this coming Tuesday. We're doing 8-Bit Day. 8-Bit Day. And then uh, next Friday, we're going to be doing Intellivision Day. Da, da, da. And uh, I, if I don't... I've never been, been in the same building with an Intellivision. <laughs> um, and... If it's misbehaving, the Intellivision, uh, with the retro tank, I'll use the um, Frame Meister, which is, throw anything at it, it's fine. But the retro tank's still in development for all the different systems. Um, and so, thank you everyone for tuning in. We're still going to be playing some more games, so hang in there. If you want to watch us, watch me defeat Enduro. He's definitely going to defeat Enduro. Going to do it. Definitely. Uh, VHC Crossbow. Thank you, VHC for making this awesome Game of the Berg game. I can't wait to play the full version. Um, thank you, Dan. It was a great game. And Oh, thank you for making it, VHC. Yeah. Phaser Cat Games. Crossbow. Thank you for the Intellivision fix. I'm so happy we can finally play Intellivision on the stream in good quality, not... RF. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Uh, RC7E, uh, Ground Trooper, Vitoko, Cafe Man 2D, uh, The Game Vampire, 13, new name, 
newish name new name thank you for tuning in uh, thrust Carl G uh, Ricardo Pim Darcy needs his own stream what <laughs> what would you do if you had your own stream what kind of games would you play just the games you it's all VR right you have a, a shot of you oh, the one <laughs> flailing <laughs> away <laughs> no. no um I'm still fixing my boat. That's what I'm going to do. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> he does have his own channel. You can pimp your channel if you want. I don't have a channel yet. No. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, there's nothing on it anyways. Well, there's nothing stuff, of note. It's old. <laughs> old fish. Old ROV Yang. Uh, who else was here? Smitty B7800. Mm, I think I got Jedekiah and Elnifer and everybody else. Oh, VR Qbert stream. <laughs> that would be interesting. How would you? Wonder if you could do that. It would have to be a very compressed you'd want a Q padded. You'd want a padded floor and walls. If you were like jumping, <laughs> two foot jumping from place to place, that would be. That would be hilarious. It would have to be smaller. Like you'd have to just do little jumps and you'd also you small amounts. You'd have to get used to. You, you'd have to. You'd have to have some way that, although it didn't do any, it didn't help you, you could hit the snake when he was getting close to you. Mm. Flail at him or something. Punch flail him. him. It doesn't help because you could it's stun him. so you have to run away. Mm. But, mm -hmm. you know, you could, like, hit him and... Stun him for a second, maybe. Yeah, You and just have to account for what you're going to do anyway, so you might as well be able to, like, <laughs> <laughs> actualize it. That would be uh, that would be really interesting, VR Qbert. Does it exist, or are you just making that up? No, I, uh, I, oh, we got the box. Oh yeah. Don't, don't don't expose the address. Don't do it. Your glasses. It's gonna reflect off your glasses, and they're all gonna know. There. Oh, uh, now I can't see. Can you close your <laughs> eyes. Oh. That'll do it, right? Open it by touch. And just yeah, cut it could. open. Just blindly flail with your sharp exact exacto knife. I could. I would need stitches. Not quite as many as a bear attack, but. Probably need some stitches. <laughs> uh, almost, I almost opened it that way, and they can flip the video. This is from the Brewing Academy. I know you guys. I know that. I know you want to visit. I know your goal <laughs> is to find out this information. I know it wasn't until it became such a big deal <laughs> that you not know. You never even thought but of it. But now it's like more packing. Now it's a game. So we've got the <laughs> instructions here. Oh, this is very thick instructions because because this uh board is for many many different consoles ah. um and here is the chip and some standoff pins and um yep chips in there awesome very cool and i am going to attempt to um install this myself We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I, I did upgrade one of my Atari 2600s, Junior. So this doesn't seem too bad, but we'll have to see. If you screw it up, I do have that solder remover uh, thing that I bought that I haven't taken out of the box yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, you haven't used it yet? I haven't even taken it out of the box. Oh, my God. I need to organize my garage. Mm. And... Yeah, make yeah. space for... It was a bit such, messy. Uh, it was very... Uh, he's being kind. It was a disaster. <laughs> uh, all uh, horizontal surfaces... Have things on them. We're full. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. And, and not clean, in an I, organized fashion. I you clean know? off... The, well, it, it's... Yeah, it's not organized, but I do know where everything is, so it yeah. sort of is, you know? Like, if someone else went in there and organized it, it would be the worst. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I do organize from time to time. It just doesn't stay that way. Because I'll go in, <laughs> I'll do a thing, and I'm doing a thing. So cleaning up this thing is Everything not comes the thing. out for the Things thing. Things come out, and then it doesn't go back. Yeah. That's the problem. Like that table, it's often clean because that's the work surface that I need to use. So yeah. I have Luckily, to I can order those UAVs and specify to not send me the manual. But you probably buy them in bulk, too. It's like, I want 20 of them. And yeah, you don't need a manual, 20 manuals to come with it. Yeah, Building up yeah. the UAV will be the hardest part. Yeah, because you have to um, 
I remember doing for the 2600. Um, I actually upgraded my 7800 myself too, and using a UAV. Um, so yeah, I, I'm competent. It works. You have to solder like a ton of wires that go off of it, just like wires everywhere. Wires that go onto the board, and then wires that go out to connect up your uh, S video and stuff. But it's not too bad. Just a bunch of soldering, and it's fairly easy soldering. So we'll be back in a little bit with Enduro. Trying to get the patch, probably in about 10, 10 minutes. Um, I'll clean up the Intellivision and set up the foot pedal. So we'll have a bunch of fun playing Enduro. So it has a clutch. Uh, no, it doesn't have a clutch. Yeah, it's it just got a has... clutch and an accelerator and a brake. Um, the game does have an accelerator. What and I'm saying, it does I'm not have saying a brake. the game. I'm pointing at the machine. It yes. has a clutch. That is that's true. Yeah. So if the game did have a clutch, you could use it. Um, but it has an accelerator and a brake. But I only use it for braking um, because the button on the joystick is for accelerating. Mm. So we're gonna be back in a bit. Um, so if you don't want to watch this, that's fine. You can come back on Tuesday. Uh, it'll be at six p.m. normal time. What is UAV? It's a drone. Uh, it will bomb all other uh, Atari 5200s. No, I've ordered a uh, chip that will upgrade my 5200 to S-Video and composite and make it look lovely and also have a power upgrade as well so I don't have to zap myself every time I plug it in. Um, my solder iron is basically a rusty nail stuck on a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, challenging. That would be quite challenging. <laughs> that would work, wouldn't it? Not. It wouldn't get hot enough. That's the problem. The well, rust, rusty nail would not get hot enough from the toaster. The rusty nail. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, the drone version would be more exciting, but it'll it'll look nice when I have it done. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back in about ten minutes for after dark, and the cats will be back too, and you can feed them. So if it's time to feed them, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Oh, it can be time, but don't do it yet. Wait till we're back in, a, in, in After Dark. So we'll be back in a bit. See you shortly. Bye-bye.